So as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, we not gonna leave just that bumper by itself with uh, all the rear wheel um, open because I don't think it's within the regulations. It has to be um, hundred. The, 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 it, it varies. Somewhere I found it's a uh, hundred mil above the center line. Somewhere I found it's two hundred mil above the center line. I don't know what to believe, but what we're going to do is that we're going to remake rear arches completely in Kevlar for two reasons. One, because it looks bloody cool, doesn't it? Uh, and two is because I'm going to use the original rear extensions that actually supposed to go onto the bumper uh, as supplied by MC Racing. I had to trim them because they're too long, because we obviously don't want all of that material and we cut the inside out so once it's all molded we're gonna have a few little extra pieces here and there but yeah so what I've done is I attached the extensions to the arches now we're gonna use a filler fill everything in sand it smooth and then essentially just like all the other parts I make we're cheating so we're using that I don't think I should call it a mold I, I think I should call it as as a professional as as I am in composite materials now I'll call it a plug so we're basically just molding from a plug um, we're not making a mold so let's do that send it and um, let's make some more carbon fiber parts That's a good one. <laughs> So last night I made these little beauties, those are the arches. So now we're ready to unpeel them. Also what I've made is a flat plate for the diffuser because we need the center fins and um, it's time to unpeel both of them. Let's get to it. Okay, peoples of the clear world, we need to cut part of the body for obvious reasons. I already had my wheel on and the car was all the way down and it's tight. I can literally barely fit my pinky in there because the, the tire is sticking out quite a bit. Here's how the extended arch sits. So essentially what we have, we have this much at least to work with. So I already marked it because there is a double lip, so sort of where metal meets on the inside. So about an inch of material we can remove. And I reckon this should be enough because that's what I think. So yeah, marked it all, 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 all off. Uh, let's chop it. Oh, where's my favorite phrase? Let's get the grinder out. It goes nothing.
tub. What do you guys think? Do we cut more and then tub it or run like <laughs> run like this and risk it? Jesus, that scared the hell out of me. Yeah, Rob just stepped on Barney. Well, to be fair, that's his bloody fault. He just lays like in, in front of things like non-stop. A few moments later. So we decided to move, remove a bit more. I mean, why not? Like Rob said, it's a race car. <laughs> Whatever that's supposed to mean. But I kind of agree. It's better to remove more now and then not worry about it than remove less and then risk damaging the tire because if it starts rubbing on the edge, it will just ruin the tire. And then I'll have to do it again anyways. So may as well do it once, do the whole lot because those things will cover it. Plus, this car will never go back to stock. So it's not like, oh my God, they will never look OEM. So whatever, they will always be with these arches. Besides, it's more weight saving, isn't it? I mean, I know how much you guys love weight saving. And uh, actually, you know what? I want to weigh it, but I reckon. What do you think this first bit weighs? Press pause, go back, uh, going down into the comments and uh, have a guess. You done it? Have you done it yet? Because I'm going to give you my guess and then we're going to weigh it. You done it? You sure? Okay. I reckon this is, <sighs> that's hard to say. 550 grams. I reckon 500. 550. That's what I think this is. 290 grams. And that's only half, so close to 500. Not that we need to, to lose any more from the back, to be honest with you. I'm gonna have to put a huge ballast in there or something. All right. Jesus, this is small. That's what she said. <laughs> That sucks. Well, I see. Well, that sucks. I didn't want that. Um, no, 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 no. Well, the problem is because the arch is attached to this now. Yeah, so now we. Uh, okay. Ah, doesn't matter. I'll deal with it. Um, I need a different, different disc. And on this episode of how to use a tool, wrong tool for the job, we're using a, a drive shaft CV boot crimping joint to, to make a little edge lip flare. Why? Because Rob said so. <laughs> well, in fairness, we don't want a sharp edge in case the tire touches it. So if we roll it a little bit, out we have space and uh, the rest will just fill with silicon well not silicon with the uh, tiger seal uh, should be good enough it's not structural should give us enough strength and seal it at the same time and we don't need to weld anything so Yeah, by the way, this lip, incredible. I mean, look at that. Did I show you how it was before? I think there is some footage there where it was just traveling. There's no need to weld anything. So there is a bit of a gap, but tiger seal to the rescue. Um, essentially, this gap is a little bit too big, but fuck it, doesn't matter. Nobody will ever see it, so. All right, well, let's uh, tidy it tidy it all up a bit and then we can seal it <laughs> It's 
fantastic. 72 hours late. So as I promised you guys, the rear arches and bumper is not just going to be hanging. So that's how it's going to be. May not be to some of you taste, but it's functional. It's sort of like a little wing directing the, the airflow and it sort of completes the corner, so to speak. Um, one last bit. We need the grill and the grill will go something like this inside. So from the back, I mean, I'm rushing it a little bit now because I need to finish it, but it will be something like this. So it will look very purposeful. So all is left is, well, obviously the other side. I mean, it's obviously the other side. I actually, that's probably what I hate the most about building something like this is the fact that you have to most of the time do it twice so you do one and then you have to copy it and copying it is not as it's just a bit of time consuming and everything so let me fix this and then i'll show you two hours later and it's done guys and it's done i know there's been a few people um who suggested that whatever I'm doing with arches is like, oh, why did you not just stick with the original bumper? It just looks naff. Now it probably will make sense to them why I was doing all of this. And I mean, obviously there'll be people who don't like it, people who like OEM plus and stuff. I mean, this is time attack car. So I want to go pretty, pretty crazy on this one. So what we have is nice air vents for the, yeah, thank you. For the air come out from the rear tires um in all honesty i strictly don't know particularly how well it's going to work or whatnot I've, I've seen it i mean there's got to be a reason why a lot of but the majority of time attack cars do that um you need to let the the air from the rear tires out anyways so the diffuser is mounted my custom made split the support uh, um, diffuser supports are all glued and all in place the, the light perfect perfect so guys thank you very much for watching this one i hope you really like it um yeah i'll see you in the next one